everybody. Welcome to tonight's, uh, tonight's tutorial. All right. So, uh, to start off, sorry, I spilled, apparently, the store that I bought my rope from, somebody spilled glitter inside it. So now every time I drop my rope, glitter just falls all over the table. And it's not just like thick glitter, it's like the thin fine glitter. So I literally have glitter everywhere. Okay, so to start off um, today, I don't know if you've been seeing all these little things on Pinterest, uh, these cute little um, like rainbow looking coil, uh, yarn looking things um, but I saw them and I thought they were extremely cute I thought they would look really good um, as like a little keychain or um, show you how to make them so you could do a kind of like a little wall hanging type thing but this is uh, the one I'm working on now I'm gonna add to this one because this did take me a little bit to do today uh, but this is what it looks like and this is my first one. So the first ones are always kind of, you know, you just kind of getting, figuring out how you're doing it. You know what I mean? Um, so this is my first. And um, I'm going to teach you how to make these cute little rainbow wall hangings. Now, my suggestion is to do them bigger. I think um, now that I know how to do it, I'm going to go, I'm going to do like a couple of big ones to hang on my, in my little art room because I think those would be so cute. Or maybe even in the kitchen, because they're adorable. Uh, you can also make these to like hang in your, um, on your mirror or something like that, right? Okay, so what you're going to need to make this project is, oh, hi Daisy! What you're gonna need to make this project is you're gonna need this uh, cotton rope. You can buy it at uh, Joann's or um, I believe Michael's, yeah. Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They all have it. Or you could just order it on Amazon. I'm sure um, you could order it on Amazon. Hello, Charlotte. How are you tonight? Okay, so that there's the rope. So that's about as thick as I have it. They, it also comes thicker. Joanne's has thicker, has even thicker, I believe. Okay, and then you're going to need wire. And the wire that I use, um, that I bought was the 16 gauge. It don't matter what color, whatever color. Uh, so I bought 16 gauge. It's pretty thick, which you kind of need thick because, you know, you want it to hold its shape, right? So that and then um, a small piece of cardboard and that is so that you can attach it to the back uh, to make it stay. A lot of videos that I've seen does it to where they um, sew it with a needle and thread, but I didn't want to do like a, um, a more in-depth um, step than what we're already doing because this does take a bit of time. Uh, more glitter. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the cardboard, and then you're gonna need um, embroidery floss. And I bought all this because uh, I couldn't stop. Like, I seen one and I was like, oh my God, these are pretty. And, uh, and then I seen the others and I was like, I just can't stop buying. I just have to buy more. And, um, so for each one of these, it took me almost in, an entire uh, thing of floss for it, just for this little small one. So if you're going to go bigger in, in your own house or whatever, if you're going to do a, like a big, huge wall hanging, I wouldn't suggest doing embroidery floss. I would suggest doing yarn because yarn's thicker would work a lot better, right? Um, okay, so to start off, we're going to, oh, you're also going to need pliers, I mean wire snippers, wire cutters, uh, some tape. The tape is super important. Painter's tape works really well. Uh, what else? Oh, scissors. I, I don't know if I said scissors. And hot glue. And the hot glue is so you can um, cut the little pieces off and you can glue them onto the back of the rainbow. Welcome, Alaska. All right. Now, to start off, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out how long you want your little um, rainbows. And since I'm adding to this one... Um, I'm just going to make a smaller one, a couple of small ones here to add to this, but to start you off, I'm going to show you. Okay. So since mine, if you want to go small, just to try it out, 
in my opinion, that would be your best bet is to go small first. Let me find out where this is at here. This is quite a bit of rope in here too. Uh, okay. All right, so just, you wanna lay it down, figure out how you want it. First things first, before you do anything else. Do you see how this is fraying? You do not want that to fray right now. So you wanna wind that back up. And that's the problem I had with my, with this one when I was doing it. You wanna wind that back up and that's what this tape is for. You wanna tape the end of it kind of like a shoestring, right? Hi, Krista. Um, let me get to my chat area. All right, and then I'm going to roll it up here. All right, so now that you have the end done, that's good. Now that should, um, that should work while you're busy doing whatever. I'm just gonna do it really tight. It's painter's tape, so it's easier to take off, right? Okay, uh, and then next step is um, measuring how much you want, okay? So, let's see. I would take it out, but if I take it out, then I have all this uncoiled rope that I don't want uncoiled. And oh my goodness, the glitter is everywhere. This is terrible. I'm never going to get it off. Okay, and now since I already have this one, I'm going to measure it, okay? Uh, so measuring, and you want it kind of long because you're going to have these little pieces hanging down, right? For those of you just joining, we're doing this little rainbow project. Um, I'm do, we're doing small ones, but you could do big ones that you could hang on your wall, and they're super awesome. I also saw that you could do these with pool noodles, which is really cool. Of course, if you're doing pool, pool noodles, you better have a lot of, I would suggest like, a lot of yarn you wouldn't definitely wouldn't use this stuff do you know how long it would take to wrap a pool noodle with that oh my god <laughs> anyway okay so I'm gonna measure um, I'm gonna measure my my rainbow here so I'm gonna you remember you got to account for the stuff that's hanging down right so about right there I want it okay and then I'm gonna cut I'm going to cut right here, and then once you got that cut, don't forget, you want to wrap that with your, uh, with your blue tape. So you're going to take your, your cotton rope, and you're going to wrap the end of it. So wrap the end really good, kind of like a little shoestring. This is just so it don't come unwound on you. All right, there we go. So now we have that. Okay, and then the next step is you want to do, you could do all of them right now if you want, or you could do, um, or you could do one at a time, all right? But I'm just going to cut this one for now. We're going to do the one. Okay, and so now since you have that cut, you're going to take, the next step is to take your 16 gauge wire that you have, all right, and you're going to. We're gonna measure this, okay? Now you don't want this wire going all the way down to the little frayed ends, okay? So you wanna stop it um, up up here, like up, like mine right here was an accident, okay? What I accidentally did was I did it one, two, three. I made these longer, shorter, whatever, but it's actually really cute like that. So the way I'm gonna do it next, I'm gonna have the next phrase hanging down a little bit more. I'm gonna try anyway. We'll see how that works. So, which means I want to wrap a little more. So I'm going to measure my wire um, to see about how long I want it. Uh, so I'm going to do it about right there. Okay, so then you just unwrap your wire and you measure it straight. Measure, measure your rope straight. And what I like to do is put another blue tape right there. I know this looks awkward, but it's easier this way. You don't have to waste stuff, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put another another blue tape right here and that is just so uh, the wire stays on it it's not gonna go anywhere on you when you're wrapping because the wrapping uh, it gets frustrating because you're you gotta, just gotta take your time because your wire wants to move everywhere um, but it's okay because the end result is really cute right all right so here we go straight down and then I'm gonna stop it about right there Okay, so about right there, and then I'm gonna cut that. So you're gonna take your wire cutters and you're gonna cut it off. 
There you go. And then, um, and then you want to, uh, wait, that looks like it's not even. Is that not even? Oh, no. You can, you know, kind of bend it to see where it's at. Yeah, that's definitely not even. Glad I checked that. I'm going to do another wire just because I want it to look perfect. All right, let's see again. Straighten it up. All right, let's do from here to here. Okay, I got this now. All right, now I got it. Okay, now once I have that cut, the next step is to, um, I'm gonna push this down into that tape because that's where it was when I told y'all to do it. It's down in that tape. All right, so that one's down in the tape, all right? And then uh, I'm gonna tape the other side because I don't want the I don't want the string flopping all around. So you're gonna tape. Oh, I've got some here. You're gonna tape uh, the other end of this. You can always take the tape off when you're ready to wrap the end. It'll be fine. So just tape the end of it. When you get down there, you can fix it, right? Wrap it around. Okay, just so it's on there. All right. Now the next step uh, is the fun part. You gotta figure out what colors of string you want. Right? What do you want? I already have these colors, so now I'm going to uh, decide what other colors I want. And I had some picked out, and now I can't remember what I did with it. Um, I wanted this one, and there was another one I wanted to do. I wanted to do two of them. Maybe it was that one. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to pick these two. All right, and now I'm going to zoom up a little bit so you all can see. All right? see that oh yes you can okay now that I have my strings picked out I'm gonna do this one next put this one off to the side everything else can be pushed aside you don't need anything else right now except your string oh also plug in your hot glue gun so it's getting nice and ready to be to be used and now you're gonna take your string and uh, make sure when you're doing this, you're very easy because these strings not so very easy. And if they not, then uh, it's over. Pretty much. It's so hard to get these things unknotted. See, I'm already having problems. And you don't want it to knot. So kind of undo it as much as you can. And I like to just throw, I know this sounds weird, but I throw the I throw it on the ground when it starts getting a little. Mm, now see, now it's stuck. I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. No, don't do it. Say it's not so. Okay, I probably won't use all this anyway because the, this rope is smaller. Anyways, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna start off like this. You're gonna take your string, all right? And you're gonna wrap it. Uh, come on, straighten up here. You're going to take your string and you're going to place it around your rope at the end here and wrap it a couple of times and then you're going to let that piece right there stick up, okay? And then when you get to that, you're just going to wrap it into itself. Does that make sense? All right, where's that string? There we go. Okay. All right, and then you're just going to start wrapping really tight around this. If, if for some reason it seems like it's messing up on you, it's okay because you can always go back um, you can always go back and fix it. That with, there we go. Of course, you will have to do a lot of unwinding. And if you're okay with unwinding, then, then you're good to go. But try to be careful with it. This is not wanting to stay in here. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to leave it like this and I'm going to start wrapping. So wrap around once or twice whatever you feel comfortable with i'll do three or four times why not and then that goes up there and that goes up like that if you could see and then just start wrapping really tightly uh right next to each other to it so you want it right next to one another okay so tight and where it's right in line can you see that right in line with one another and that's how you're going to do that, just like that. Okay? Good 
to go. All right, and then you're gonna do this all the way around the entire rope, okay? And then it, what you're doing is you're causing this rope and wire to be kind of fused together, right? You just wanna do this whole thing. I know this looks boring, but you know, Keep going. I think I need to zoom in just a little more. There we go. That's better. And then just keep wrapping. I know after a while this gets kind of boring to watch, but the end result is really cool. And you got to be careful because your wire wants to wrap around. I mean, the rope wants to just keep moving around the wire, and that's so annoying. You don't, you kind of want it to just stay where it's at. You know what I mean? Just keep going. I should have made these smaller, but I figured, you know what? I wanted to finish this anyway. Okay. I can't do that hand anymore. Sometimes my hands just start to cramp on me and I just can't. Can't do it. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I feel like this is too close. I feel like I'm too close. Is it, is it still? Okay. There we go. I don't know about awesome. I'm still working on it here. And you got to be careful, like when you're doing this, you want to see, uh, look and make sure there's no holes, like where you could see, where you can see, sorry, I'm trying to, where you could see through to the um, rope, because the whole idea is to not see through it. I feel like I'm too close, the camera's too close to me. I feel like I need to zoom out. All right, and just keep wrapping. Yeah, see, I missed a spot, and that's gonna not look good. So I need to pull that down. When you miss spots, just pull it down. Try to pull it down. Push that rope in there. Can you see? Push the rope in with your finger, and then pull the string down. Does that make sense? Push in, pull down. And then look, it's kind of pretty much worked its way out, right? And see how my wire and rope is turning again? So you want to straighten it out again. Straighten it out and then keep going. Okay, that's a little better. Oh, it was too close. Too super close. All right, and then just keep going. I guess once you get the hang of it, once you get the hang of it, then it doesn't then it doesn't take as long to do it. But you know, like this would take me some time to get the hang of this because as easy as it looks, it's really not because you have to get it right next to one another to get it perfect. I mean, I guess if you're far away, you're not <laughs> You're not up close and looking at the wall hanging too much. I guess uh, I guess nobody would know. You would know, right? You would know whether you could see it or not. Oh. All right. Let's keep going. And that's how you do it, okay? Once I get to the end of this, I'll show you if this takes forever to show you this, then I'm probably only going to do this one because this is taking a while. And uh, I'll show you how to end it off and how to attach it to your to your other ones. And then that way uh, you can continue this project on your own. You can go back. You can rewind this video because it will be in our archives at citymuseum.org or at our... Facebook page, which you're probably on if you're watching this video, right? You know, I tried, actually tried to like just, um, 
turn it like this and it didn't really work that well because my string was just not right on itself see like if you turn it like that then your string your string just doesn't want to be next to one another you have to kind of work with it I mean it does work but it takes some time to do it this way I'll do it show you how it's another another way of doing it right There we go. All right. Now it's coming along now. It is a little easier once you get the hang of it because you can move the string uh, up and down. Now you don't have to pull too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. Yeah, I think I think I kind of like this method better because you're not constantly winding it back and forth. For those of you just joining, we're making these uh, things that I saw on Pinterest that I thought was awesome. It's these, like these fiber, um, fiber art rainbows that you can hang on your wall, which I think are pretty cool looking. Uh, you can do them as keychains, hang them on your car window. It depends on how big you are making yours. You can also, like I was saying earlier, you can make these out of pool noodles. However, if you do it out of a pool noodle, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to have that really fat uh, yarn that they make. And if that's the case, you're probably going to be spending some money because that yarn is not cheap. Uh, I was going to get my floss at Joann's and my sister was telling me that you could get this floss at Hobby Lobby for like 50 cents or something, 58 cents a a floss so I was like well you can't can't beat that if anybody knows of any cheaper leave it in the comments I'd like to know cheaper the better I'm all about savings right who isn't okay uh, all right now I'm almost almost to the end almost to the end let me see if I could speed it up a little bit because it is taking a bit. Wouldn't it be cool if we had like a fast forward button on the live? <laughs> fast forward past all the monotony. Okay, I'm almost done. I almost got this part so I can show you the rest of it. Okay. Anybody that's joining us go to City Museum yet? We reopened again. Or have plans to? Do any of you have plans to? Okay. Yeah, I'm almost there, almost there, people. Almost there. Okay, once I get this done to this tape, I'll be done. And then I'm going to show you how to end this off, okay? And also, I used almost, I used almost this entire uh, floss that I bought. Almost the entire thing. I did buy extra of one color on some of them because I was like, well, I don't know how much of this it's going to take to wrap one of these because I've never done it until today. So maybe I might want to buy two. So if you're going to do a bigger one than this, you might want to buy two or three. Uh, I would say if you're going to do a bigger one of this, you should do like three, um, three floss things because otherwise you're not going to have enough. And you know how what they say even like when you're buying yarns and things like that, like it, you should always buy from the same, for yarn, I believe it's called a skein, uh, because the next go around at the factory, the color might be a little off, might be a little different. Even though it's called the same color, the shade might be a very lighter or darker variation because of the uh, dyeing process, right? All right, so now I've got this about where I want it. Almost. Look at that. See what I was telling you about that knotting up? It sure did. It knotted up on me, and I don't know how I'm going to... How I'm going to get it apart. No. Okay, that's a little better. All right, and then just keep going. I'm almost to the end. These just turn out looking so cute. I just wish that I was better at the rolling of it. Or... Okay. 
There we go. All right, now, so to finish it off at the end, oh, I better undo this again. I thought I was going to have it. Come on. Why is it doing this? See, what I should have done was unroll, undo it all first, and then worry about it later. Does anybody else always have this problem with these things? Okay. There, now I got that mostly done. Next step is to take your uh, string and kind of keep your finger there and wrap it around, right? Once you get that wrapped around, you're going to take it and you're going to, I'm going to cut some of this off because I don't need all this. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to tie it so you're going to stick it Stick it through that loop that you just made, right? Stick it through the loop. And then through it again because that's going to knot it. And just pull, pull, pull until it's knotted. And do it again one more time because it'll keep unwinding if you're not careful. I'm going to do it again, just for good measure. I'm going to do it double. One, two. I hope you all can see this. All right. And then once I get that, then I'm going to cut it. And just try to put that on the back of the rainbow. All right, now you're going to take this off. You might have to cut these off. And just be careful you don't cut your... Um, your rope, right? Okay, and then you have that, and then you're going to take the other ends off. Pull these off. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Painter's tape works the best because it comes off a little easier than the other tapes. Okay. Now this is showing through. I'm going to have to wrap this because see how that's showing through? You don't want that to show. So I'm going to have to wrap that a little bit maybe. Or maybe I could stick it down in the rope and it should be okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll be okay. Stick it down in the rope and then it's not showing. Okay. And then take this end off here. And then the next step is to, to form your shape. You want to... When you make these, you want to form your shape together, kind of. So these are already formed and I already glued them. But that's how you're going to do it. So you're going to form it with the other ones. Figure out how it's supposed to be. So that's too big there. Here we go. Shape it. All right. There's that shape, right? So that's my shape right there. And now you're going to take your cardboard that I said. And you're going to cut a little piece off. Now, normally, like I said, you can you can sew these together, but I do not have my needle and thread today. So, all right. So then you're going to flip it over on the back, and you're going to put hot glue on your piece, and then you're going to glue it to that. Okay. So be careful when you're doing this that you don't get glue, hot glue on you, because it hurts. Right? And I'm going to do it like this. Can you see that? There we go. Because I already have some here that I did earlier. Oops. Make sure it's pushed up nice and tight. You want it nice and tight to the other ones. All right. And then I'm going to do it again on this other side. Cut some of that off. this. Now, for you to finish this, you would make more of what I just showed you. Several more of those, okay? And you could do as many as you want. That's up to you. You don't have to do a lot, or you can do a lot. That's all dependent on you and what you want to do, right? These are so cute. And then you can add a thing to the back to hang it. And to do that, you can use a piece of your string 
um, that you have. Different color here. All right. Since I have this color up here, I have, well, that's white, ain't it? Oh, well. Okay, now I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to make a little, um, little thing right here, and I'm going to put, I'm just going to put two little, two little cardboards there, and this is how we're going to hang it, okay? So... One little cardboard here, and then we're just going to stick that on top of the, on top of the, um, string. So just figure out where you want it. One, and then I'm going to do the other one over here. So you can hang it. Here. All right. There we go. And then there you go. Now you have this cute little rainbow thing. Now we're not finished though. Hold on. Now you could use a toothpick or a piece of your wire if you have an extra piece of wire, right? Um, try not to do this on your table. You don't want to scratch your table. Now you're going to take a wire or a toothpick or something and you're just going to start unraveling the rope that was raveled up right scratch it scratch it scrape it whatever you gotta do to undo it flip it over do the other side there we go all right and then you want to take your scissors and you're going to cut it to make it even right cut it make it even that. Do it again just to make sure. Oh, that turned out so cute. I love this so much. All right, and then do the other side. It's basically like you're combing, you're combing the um, cotton rope, right? Unraveling it. Flip it over, do the same to the other side. You want all those little rope fibers to be individual, right? Make it cool looking. All right, there's that. It's almost done. A little more. All right, and then I need to cut that a little bit. It almost looks almost perfect. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. Okay, so let me let me zoom out. Okay, so this is what we made. We made these cute little uh, rainbow wall hangings, or you could put it in your car and hang it up. You could make a little keychain out of it. You could do necklaces out of them, which is really cool. Uh, but this is super popular right now on Pinterest. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like, I really want to do this project with everybody. Um, so if you have all these things at home, that's awesome. It means you're probably a super crafty person. If you don't have all this stuff at home, you're probably still crafty, but had no idea you could make something like this. Um, I highly suggest going and getting the supplies and making it because it's a lot of fun. It's a cute little decoration to put in your home to hang somewhere. I am going to be doing bigger ones because these are too cool. It's going to be uh, a time when I have a lot of time to make them though because this does take a little bit of time to make but the reward is pretty awesome, right? Because who don't like rainbows? Uh, so thanks for joining me. I'll be on again tomorrow. Um, no, not tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'll be on again Monday at 11 o'clock uh, for another project. And um, if you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org. It talks about all of our tickets, all of our precautions that we're taking, everything you need to know um, about the current situations with City Museum. And uh, follow us on Facebook. 
uh, subscribe, like, so you get notifications on when we're doing live videos. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and thanks, and I'll see you again Monday. Hope you had fun.